Hi, I'm Min, and welcome to Cal Sailing Club. We are a nonprofit, volunteer run sailing and windsurfing club. About nine times a year, we hold an open house event where we introduce the public to sailing by offering them free boat rides. We couldn't really do that this year because of COVID. And also, during the winter months, we don't hold open house because there's just very little wind. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show you what it's like, but from the comfort of your own home. Before coming down here, you want to check our website for the schedule. Open house is almost always held on Sunday afternoons from 1 to 3 p.m. The exact Sunday of each month is going to vary based on the tie, so that's why you want to check our schedule online before coming down here. We are located at 124 University Avenue, and once you get down here, you want to look for our sign-up table, which is over there. So let's go over there right now. Usually, you can find a sign-up table by the line of people waiting to sign up. Uh, but because this is a virtual open house, we don't really have to deal with the lines, and that just saves you a boatload of time. Um, once you are here, you could get some information about what happens in open house. Um, you will also need to sign a waiver. Um, open house is pretty much uh, available for anybody in the general public. Kids do have to be five and up, accompanied by their parent or guardian. Once you've signed your waiver, you get a little hand stamp, and then you can move on to the next area, which is over there. In this next area here, you'll get fitted with a PFD, or a personal flotation device. And there's usually someone here to help you pick out the right one, the right size. And once you have it on, you want to cinch everything nice and tight. Is it too tight? You want it to be actually fit really snugly around you because if you do end up in the water, whether it be here or somewhere else, and someone needs to rescue you, they're going to try to lift you up by the PFD and you don't want it to accidentally slip off. Um, once you have your PFD, that's pretty much the only thing you need to have on for uh, open house. So if you sign up for our membership, we do have other safety gear like wetsuits, foul weather gear, tops and bottom, and harnesses. But because of COVID-19, right now the only thing that we're making available is the PFD until we figure out a safe way to uh, sanitize other soft gear. Another thing you want to think about is what you're going to wear when you're out here. You want to wear synthetics and avoid things like cotton, which absorbs water. Um, even if you don't end up in the water, you might get splashed on a really windy day. Um, the other thing is if you have on glasses or hats, you want to make sure that that is tied to something so that you don't lose it once you're out there. We do discourage bringing electronics because electronics and salt water simply don't mix. The sea is kind of where electronics go to die. If you absolutely can't bear to be apart from your electronics, then I recommend bringing a dry bag like this, like this, or at the very least a Ziploc bag, but preferably not full of snacks. And if you need to, we do have cubbies in the clubhouse where you can store your stuff. So let's go over there and take a look. Now we are in the clubhouse and in front of you, there are the cubbies where you can store your stuff while you're out on the water. To our left is our day leader who's here to enforce the rules and making sure everyone's being safe and perform rescues if there needs to be one. You also see a whiteboard above her where it has important information for the day. You can also view that on our webcam. And I think now we're ready to go back out and get on a boat. Typically during open house, we have two types of boats to choose from. On this dock, we usually keep our keel boats, and on the other dock, we keep our dinghies. If you're wondering what's the difference, the keel boat tends to be a lot bigger. The keel has a ballast that keeps the boat balanced, whereas the dinghies, we rely on our body weight to keep the boat balanced. Uh, we recommend that those are less agile or have small children with them to ride a keel boat. Those who want a more zippy, fun experience, go ride the dinghies. And I have a dinghy ready for us over here at the second dock. The club actually has a fleet of uh, 30 dinghies and six keel boats. Now that we're on the dock, I'm gonna show you how to safely step on the boat. If you're stepping on in the bow, what you wanna do is plant one foot on each side of the mast and keep your weight low and close to the center until you can sit down and scoot back. Now during open house, we also have wonderful volunteers that we call dock angels that help pull the boat to the side so that our guests can easily step on. And you wanna ask your skipper for permission to board, which I'm giving you. And now I'll help you get on the boat. Before we start, let's uh, do a little bit of safety talk on the boat here. The most important thing is this big metal bar here. This is called a boom. And every time I cross into the wind, this is gonna swing across and you don't wanna get hit in the head with this. 
So for most parts, if you're safe, if you stay seated, this is not going to be an issue, and I will let you know when we're about to cross the wind, and you have a little warning to keep your head down. Um, the other thing is these boats are fairly tippy, so we're going to use our body weight to try to balance the boat. So I might be sitting here, or I might be sitting further out here if needed. I think that's pretty much all we need to know. Um, so I'm going to go back on the dock and cast this off. Okay, are we ready to cast off? Yeah. And here we go. Okay, and we're off. Now all of our sailors start off learning on dinghy, which is partly why I wanted this ride to be on a dinghy instead of a keelboat. Um, but there's a very good reason for that, because the dinghies are far more responsive. So whatever you learn on a dinghy will make you a better uh, skipper when you move up to a keelboat. Um, the other thing too is uh, if you do something wrong, the dinghies cause a lot less damage than a keelboat, both to the boat and to yourself. Right now we're in the novice area and this area is uh, bound by the third dock on the east and the restaurant on the south and um, this is a good protected area for beginners there's a lot of trees that kind of block out the usual west wind once we go past the restaurant we're going into the junior area where it's a little windier and i may have to sit up here in order to balance the boat if you don't balance the boat correctly the boat can capsize we usually play a pretty safe door open house to keep it from capsizing, but it is a possibility. Um, I know that's a very scary thought for a lot of people, but it's really actually not that bad. Uh, just like if you're learning to ski or snowboard, you'll end up falling in the snow at some point. Well, here you just fall in the water and you have a PFD on to keep you floating. We'll have a day leader to keep an eye on you and we'll show you how to uh, ride a boat and keep going again. So it's really not that bad. We could even practice capsizing if you want to do that. You want to try capsizing? No? Yeah, me neither. Let's do that on a day when we both have wetsuits on. Typically for open house, we simply take our guests out in the south basin, circle around and come back. Depending on the condition of that day and the skipper that you get, you may learn a little something about how a boat works. But if you sign up for a membership, you could come out here and take as many lessons as you like. One of the first things that we teach our students is how to steer. So in order to do that, I'm going to use my tiller to control the boat. Um, if I want to sail away from the wind, I pull the tiller towards me and away from the sail, and I start to turn down this way. Um, if I want to head the other way towards the wind, I push the tiller over towards the sail. And once you're pointed at the object that you want to go to, you center the tiller again. One thing you may notice is that sailboats can only go so high into the wind before it just stops moving. And that's because we just can't sail directly into the wind. So if we're to turn around, I need to perform a maneuver called tacking. This is the part where the boom swings across and you want to keep your head down. So, um, the first thing I want to do is I want to look behind me, make sure there's no traffic, and also want to know where I want to stop the boat after the turn. So, um, and the other thing is I want to make sure that my crew, which is you, are uh, ready. So, are you ready about? Yeah? yeah? Okay. And now we're coming about. And what I want to do is duck under the boom as it swings across. sit back down on the other side. It's really nice out here in the bay. There's a lot of animals. We see a lot of birds diving for fish. Uh, seals are very common. There's a lazy one that kind of hangs around J-Dock where we keep our keelboats. And 
when you get a more advanced rating, you could go even further out. Even if you don't get an advanced rating, there are still things that you can do at the club during normal times when we don't have a deadly pandemic. We often have cruises and we go all over the bay as far as uh, about a mile past the Golden Gate Bridge. And out there I've seen, uh, I've seen porpoises, I've seen whales. And the way that works is uh, it's a lottery system. So any, any member can sign up for the cruise and if you get picked in the lottery, you get a spot on the, on the boat. Um, there are a lot of other events that we usually hold during non-COVID times. For the latest updates on how we're handling the COVID situation, you should check the front page of our website. Um, you're probably wondering, you know, at this point, what do I got to do to uh, check out a boat? You need to pass three tests, a written test, a rigging test, and a practical on the water test. So to pass the written test, all the information is on our uh, website and you can even take the test on our website. To pass the rigging test, you wanna come out here for ground school where they'll teach you how to rig and set up a boat. Um, and after that, you can sign up for our dinghy lessons. And that'll teach you all the maneuvers you need to know to come out here and sail in the novice area and come back to the dock safely. In addition to that, all members need to take a test on our COVID protocol so that you demonstrate you know what safety procedures we have in place in terms of reservations, in terms of how to sanitize the equipment. This is actually um, one of the best places to sail. It'll make you a really good sailor because we get really strong winds during the summer. And it's one of the lowest price that you can find anywhere. And we're able to do that thanks to support from the city of Berkeley as part of the marina. And also thanks to the California State Parks, Department of Boating and Waterways as part of their safety education program. And also to our members, uh, we are a volunteer run club. So all our members contribute at least two volunteer hours every quarter. And that's how we're able to keep our prices low. And we're about to come in for a docking. If you want more information, check out the website and you can uh, even sign up right there online. Okay, that's it. We'll see you on the water.